Morning, delighted to be joined on the line now by the Westport and Mayo star Lee Keegan. <coughs> Good morning, Lee. Lee, how are things? Good, guys, how are you? How's the head? Uh, not bad, yeah. It's a lie, anyway. It's it's a what is it a Monday club and a Tuesday club or how how are the how do celebrations happen at the minute for for club teams? Uh, well, there's Monday and the Tuesday club, and then I'm I'm too old, so there was no Wednesday club for me. So uh, I go back to work, and I have kids at home, so I got a I got the curly finger then, which I'm really happy to to give up. But no, it was um it was a great few days to be honest. Um, trying to piece back a few things together to make sure they're they're all good. But yeah, the cup was in good hands and uh the crack was the crack was had. So did you have a sing song in Map <clears throat> No, there was no Map There was a couple of other spots now where there was a lot of sing songs. Uh, I'm still a bit hoarse, I'm sure you can gather that bit. So um and I would I wouldn't be a great singer but I, I let out a few tunes before you've been to Westport Shane. Oh I've been to Westport, been to Map Maloys yeah, yeah. Spot. quality spot. Um uh one nine to one six Lee against Bad <clears throat> last Stephen Heights. I mean for People who, who wouldn't wouldn't have seen the game or followed the Mayo Championship this year, an incredible achievement. First time Westport have ever won the, the Mayo Senior Championship and Ballina as well. Probably heavy favourites going into the game, is that fair to say? Absolutely. Um big, big favourites for the game. Uh, and and rightly justified to be honest. Um they were the team scoring goals at 14 goals scored in, in um four games. So either uh, was averaging something like twenty two and a half points a game. Um so that speaks volumes for their offense and the way they were playing and setting up. And then ourselves, a lot of people, a lot of talking for us around we were not playing like Westward Associated for years with free flowing football and, and going kind of man to man and and basically getting shootouts. Where this year we kind of went a bit more um, compact, a bit tighter in defense and a bit of structure. And we only had conceded one goal up to that. So it was kind of the, the scores against the uh, stoppers nearly to a degree. But um, it's just it's a brilliant feeling to say there to, to win the first one. It's it's really special for the club to be honest, and it's a lot of hard work that's gone on in the background for years. Um, and just shows that we had a great belief within the group that we could get over the line. And Sunday when even things didn't go well for us at times during the year. You know, look at Casper game to a certain extent. Shane's got goal in the, in the last kick of the game is kind of the right one the stairs as I say a little bit. So a lot of things aligned well for us. Um, but you have to get your own look sometimes too, and we deserved every bit of it. Looking at your record, uh, Westport's record in, in uh, senior championship finals, nine finals, zero wins before before the weekend, and on five of those finals lost to Ballina, um, which is quite extraordinary. And even Ballina with a team that that relegated yourselves to the to the second tier, it intermediate. Is, and, so yes. it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a. Does it make it more special because there's a bit of a a thing going on there? There's a bit of a rivalry and plenty of history. There is, and I think there's going to be for a long time because if you look at both teams in particular, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the age profile is huge. They're going to be around for a long time and they're going to be in plenty more finals. That's not, that's, and that's going to be the challenge for a lot of us. But uh, thankfully, I'm not that old where we, I played in any of the finals. So uh, <laughs> I, I can't be associated with them. Uh, I can only be associated with the one final I played in. So, um, but yeah, no, Bella are the, the top tier team in Mayo Championship. That they have the most titles. They're the most successful club, uh, and they've dominated for a long time. Now, this is the happened one in fifteen years. That's that's you know that's a new group coming through. So, there has been a bittersweet moment. But I think when they relegate us to a certain extent, guys, not to sound in a, any weird way, but I think it was probably no harm for the mm. group that we had, um, because I think we needed a full rebrand, rebuild, uh, and <clears throat> I suppose. At the time, we didn't have a lot of guys coming through. It was only myself and, and Kevin Kane signed that were playing with Mayo. Um, didn't have a lot of guys there. So we knew what was coming. Um, and that fruit situation came then in 2016, where we won the intermediate and then went on the, on the all Ireland run as well. So things like that. We've created a lot of history for the club with this current group of guys. But it's not the likes of myself or Brian or Kevin. It's, the, it's the, this core group of lads that have won minor A medals, under 21 A medals. Um, they've really dominated Mayo underage. And now... They've really stepped up to play for the senior team, and that to be honest, that core group got, that's all they know is, is winning, and they're, they're very comfortable in, in saying that they're not. They're, that's not a confidence thing. That's just they're just they're fully believing what they're doing. And we got Shane Conway back in this year. Uh, he would have trained a lot of those guys in West College and school. So listen, as I said a lot of things aligned really well for us this year. Um, and you know, we it it, it was our target to win it. That's just, that's everyone's target. It's to win senior championship and. To do it as the first team in the club is just it's just brilliant, and I love saying it. It just it just sounds really well. It sounds great. Uh, I keep saying it to myself every morning. <laughs> did, did, how like was this a long process? Then need like you see, there's so many people involved behind the scenes in clubs that maybe they wouldn't get certainly the national or, or sort of wider recognition where they would say, well, 
you know, we're going to put a plan in place here or we're literally going to take the under 12s. We're going to um, probably themselves a bit frustrated at the lack of success that Westport had had. Um, yeah, we've been lucky. Again, I'm talking about a core group of guys there. There's there's just there's 12, 13 lads there that just are all the same age profile. Uh, and once they won the under 21A, there was something kind of building from that group. Um, and even when we played the Intermediate All-Ireland, there was, the majority of those guys were 18 uh, in being a certain school. So there's no baggage. They're just they're just very hard-working kids who want to come in and be successful. And that's not even saying... If they make male grades, they're happy, but they're they're happy to dominate in, in male uh, and at their age group. So I, w- I was going to wait by hook or by crook to play with this group, to be honest, because I had a great feeling that we we're going to do something special with them. Um, and my wife kept saying to me, you'd be 40 by the time you start stepping up. And I said, no, 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 no. We're going to do it sooner rather than later. So, um, but it, it's taken a lot of work. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the thanks just goes like Charlie Lambert, the two, their two sons, his two sons are playing. He's chairman for the last five years. He's put a lot of work in the background. Uh, other guys, listen, I'm not going to start naming people because I've missed people, but like, there's been a lot of hard work that's gone in the background. And I get, I said something earlier, like, you know, a, lot of, a lot of people seem to be talking for Westport, but like, a lot of people are doing their talk internally as groups and put a lot of structure in place, put a lot of money, investment into teams, pitches. <clears throat> and even this year, anything that we needed in terms of support or anything at all, the guys were there to help us. Um, and I mean, that's all we need. But like, essentially... It's all just about getting the right group of guys in together. We have, we have a panel of 34, I think, so we do. And every night, them lads come up to train hard. And I'm, I'm, this, this is not just generic saying they come to work hard. Shane Connor, Martin Conley, that they, and they're as transparent as any Andre work for is if you're not doing yourself, you will not be playing in the story. I don't care who we are. Uh, you need to be doing the right stuff for us, doing the right stuff for the team. And it's you're, you're always backing the team over yourself. You always make the right decision for the team. And you seem to have been a couple of changes right through the group. And like, what I loved about the, the, this era is that we're missing probably two or three of our best players. Colin Moore is one of the best club forwards in Mayo. Um, he was carrying us the last three years. Uh, didn't play, didn't play, didn't get the ball this year. Owen McLaughlin only played one game this year. Joe Gray got did his crew shooting in the quarterfinal. Was one of our best players in championship at that point. So listen, there's been a lot of guys that haven't got to play unfortunately, but it was never an excuse. It was just get on with the job and. And you see what happened because we just believe that we could do it. It's kind of a cliched question, obviously. And you you haven't won all Ireland with Mayo, but you've won a lot of big games. How does it compare? Ah, uh, listen, club is everything. Like I mean, like I don't think it, it's, it's not apples or apples uh, in any way because <laughs> essentially, you're at the club, I, I don't get to play for Mayo, uh, and that's just the reality of it. Uh, so I need to be pretty sure that I'm present with my club as much as I can, and, and that's hard sometimes because the county season takes over a lot of the year. So. It's it's not the same. It's not the same in any degree because sometimes you know Mayo at that stage is where they've talked about it and that's that's fine. But it's when you go back to the the roots of where you grew up and what you did and the group of guys like I mentioned Kevin Kane there last day like he's my one of my best mates like so we we've through through everything from under I don't know, under twelves thirteens right up to up to senior and and we had a hard not a hard underage years where we didn't win a lot. Uh, we won an intermediate in nine and then. Again, we had a massive gap. Uh, we talked like we were 18, 19 at that time in 09, and we said we're going to win plenty. And it took us to 2016 and, and 17 to do something again. And then again, there was a, another little wait until we got off the line last day. But it, it's days like last day that me and Kevin appreciate the most. And I just I love looking into the the, the, the families and, and the relationships in the club that we got to meet after the game. And that's 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 the personal aspect of, of playing with your club and what it means to people. I was watching a uh, very emotional interview you did, Lee, after the after the match at the weekend, and and like, I guess for a game where you win by three points and there's only a kick of the ball in it until the last minute, you can't you can't relax until that full full time whistle goes. I mean, what was what what went through your head when that full time whistle went and and you realised that you were Mayo senior champions for the first time? Um, there's always a relief to be honest, because uh, there's always there's huge pressure. Uh, there's always pressure running the finals. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm, I'm probably a bit more documented for playing the finals and not getting over the line. Um, so there's always that little bit of bittersweet moment that it's it's done. Um, but it's funny, I, I won nearly everything by a wire, so it's 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 a funny one to say that I haven't won many finals. I won plenty as well, so um, and I'm proud of that. And and I was just proud to be involved with the guys on Sunday. Um, I really was, and it's not a thing where it's it was the King of Bay West, where I'm just with a group of guys that. Are pulling their weight, just working like dogs week in, week out. And I just I just enjoyed that. I loved I loved the whole I've loved the whole year to be honest. It's been just it's just been a brilliant <laughs> a brilliant crack. It's been a brilliant journey uh so far. Uh, we've another game now and Sunday weekend's my column. But 
it just just when the whistle goes, it's very hard to sum up. But I still sometimes you get a bit lost words, like and I was lost words or something because I didn't know how to describe it. To be honest, so you just don't know. Um, and it, like I suppose initially it's always relief because you've done it, but in the last few days and just having chats with the, the guys and families around and, and the parishes that were people doing bonfires, it just then you realise right, it's it's not just not just fifty man or twenty man team. It's there's a lot more people out there that what it means to them. And I just was delighted that we can say we. Did it for the people of Westport, uh, and to say that you're the first team to do it to win a senior medal, and as I said in last, it's the pinnacle of your club career to, to win a senior medal, um, and that's what it means. Um, so that medal is stored nice in the back pocket now when we get it, and, and one that will look back in the years to come and enjoy it. But I do think if, if if we want, we have huge opportunities as a club to progress and, and do more. But that's for another time for talking. But I think. And the whistle on Sunday was just, I think it was just a roller coaster emotions. It's, it's sometimes it's very hard to sum up. Uh, but the overall feeling was just absolutely delighted uh, to be involved. And um, I never was happy to hear a final whistle go as quick. <laughs> has it has it given you like because I, I remember when we myself and Jared last spoke to you in September uh, it was just after or before the second round of the championship I think and uh, you were talking about having you know changing priorities in your life and, and you know football had taken centre stage for so long and now you're obviously as you say focusing on the kids and family and everything else and rightly so I mean but but has this given you um, as I guess a renewed sense of vigour because you, you've spoken well before about the, the young players coming through in, in, in Westport and how that and seeing them progress and, and come into the first team and, and get playing in championship matches has given you a new sense of, of enjoyment for the game. So is, has winning this trophy nearly whetted your appetite for more or how do you feel after it? I don't know, there's a coin in that question over there. Wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we get you yesterday morning when you'd be in a, in a really loose, loose state of chat? <laughs> when, you, when you text me Tuesday, there was no way I was going on Wednesday. <laughs> that much. Uh, well, that's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I suppose... Like yeah, like again, yeah, like I said this morning, I'm, I'm the oldest guy in the team in Westford, and I'm that's good. I'm fine with that. Uh, but I do I, I, the satisfaction I get seeing the guys from the intermediate with their eighteen to the to the guys there now and what they've done uh, and how to develop. And that, can, of course, if that doesn't give me appetite to play and, and want to win more with that group, mm. then there's, there's something wrong with me because these guys are not waiting for anyone. They're 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 working. They're they're trying to do the right thing for the club. So if that doesn't give me some some kick in the arse to say, well, I need to follow this and then I'm, I'm, I'm just worse off than the next person. So yeah, I get the satisfaction I get from playing with those guys is just, it's crazy. Uh, I love, I just love it. I just, it was just such a buzz. Um, and of course, it gives you an after I play more and want to win more, uh, but for the club. Uh, and that's the thing I'm talking about. These guys I want to play with for the club because these guys are doing the stuff for the club. Uh, and that, and it would be a different conversation with guys with Mayo when this had happened and I talk with the younger kids and other guys and of course there's always an appetite there as well but I'm solely solely to present with the, the group of guys I'm playing with at the moment because that's all that matters for me at the moment because we're, we're still together we're still another match in, in a week and a half so it'd be very rude to me to be discussing other options or aspects of what's going on out there rather than just Westport versus my call and I was on the week uh, and what that does and, and the celebration that we had last day so I just I don't want to take it away from the group just because it's, it should be just Westport Absolutely, I, I'm sure you're sick of getting asked that question. But the like, I'm not. No, the, I'm not. The, no. Like the male, but the male, like, like even when Kevin McStay, like I'm sure Kevin has spoken to you. But it's probably one of those things where you don't want to focus on it until the club is over. But it's, I, I'm sure it's still one of those questions you get fairly often. Yeah, well, I see a text there. I know I did that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but like the, the, the decision is going to have to be made eventually. But. I, I like the fact it's put on hold for the while because I get to play another game at Westport. Uh, <laughs> Do you feel as like, good as ever? I I feel good. Yeah. I, I well I, I didn't after the game and I not from not from celebrations but I like I, I like I do break down from time to time. Yeah. Well because like the, the club is as tough as county. Uh, like I know it's only sixty minutes but it's 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 rigorous enough. We still train as much as the county. You have your gym sessions. Like you're still doing four or five times a week. Uh, to be trying to make the peak of your game and I mentioned last night I wasn't particularly that good on Sunday but I didn't have to be because there was enough of the guys that were doing the job for me uh, so I was delighted and so yeah but I, in terms of appetite and and playing at the peak I, I feel as good as ever to be honest yeah I do uh, and that's and that comes into I was reading yesterday Paul Finley from Bally Bay and he said like once you have all your ducks in a row and, and, and things are going well in life why, why wouldn't you enjoy it? Um, like, we're given the opportunity uh, to, to be playing something we love playing. So, 
I mean, if I'm happy going into the into a group play football, then absolutely. Then I, of course, of course, I love playing. I feel great. Uh, once now, I don't feel I don't feel great today. Now we're back training tonight, which would be fun. But I mean, that's 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 the, that's the fun part as well. But in terms of performance, uh, I, I could never question performance wise uh, a reason for not playing. Uh, it was just other things about it sometimes that you need to just look look internally and see where they're at. The things you you'll remember. This in forty years time, like you'll have great memories of going even back to training tonight and smiling on people's faces, like. Like we can't wait to get back together. Uh, the guys were back doing their bit last night as well. Uh, so that's that's the fun part. We're back together. We're still going. Uh, and like I, I, I'd be very good friends with Paul Vahora, Swanee, and we, we were having great chats during the year before we, we came up against each other and saying like, where, what else would you be at? Where else would you be like? You know, like people saying I love the break, but like they'd also love to be involved in, in big days like Sunday. Mm. And make sure that's that's the fun part of life. It's they don't come around too often. So I mean. The two of us agreed, like, sure, what else would you be at in the bank all of Sunday? We're kicking the ball around the mm-hmm. park. You're going you know, back to Mayo was... anyway, I think we can say. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, Paul Joyce it's was one of the people. So I get seen a headlock, I might have more. Paul Joyce was one of the people who paid tribute to you, Lee, I think, on, on Twitter, I think it was at the weekend. He was saying no one is more deserving of a of a club senior title. It's like, it's, I'm sure it's lovely to hear tributes like yeah, that. I, 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 well, I, Pork is one of my coaches in the National Rounds before, so I know, I know Pork, like, and he's just a really great lad, like, you know, so I think I have nothing but utmost respect for that. So it's great to hear when your peers give you respect like that, uh, because they know the work that goes in the scenes themselves. And when big days come off the likes of themselves, like we did on Sunday, they, they know exactly the appreciation, the level of satisfaction that we get from, from Sunday. Well, I know Mayo have, have Galway up in the, the league, I think, in the first game. So maybe all it takes, Lee, is it, during the Mike Cullen match, a couple of them Galway County lads <laughs> rubbing you up the wrong way, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm yeah. gonna go for one more year. My, my Cullen are some squad as lads as any <laughs> What are your chances in Connacht? Do you think? Um, I think we're gonna give it a right crack. We're gonna give it a right go, guys. So there's no reason why we wouldn't. Uh, we think we've been on kind of runs in intermediate before. Um, and we know the again the satisfaction levels of getting the job done. So. Like we're we're delighted with the test when we have Sunday week. Uh, we're running as big underdogs again, which is fine. Um, so yeah, uh, we're like to be honest as a group. Like we haven't overly discussed it obviously because celebrating. I'm sure my colour are, are probably a bit the same. Get back there tonight uh, and start analysing a bit. And like listen, my colour don't need much analysing. They're just a quality outfit. Uh, I think we have six older players straight away. You can name off the top of your tongue. Mm-hmm. So two championships in three years speaks volumes. So for their club and what they've done as, as a small power. So. We're, we're, we actually can't wait for the test, to be honest, because they're the teams that you really want to see or measure up against, see where you're at, um, outside your own county. So, like, we know we're going to be on drugs something that game, no doubt, but we, we have full belief that we can get, it, get the job done if we get get things right again. So, um, it'll be a cracking game, I hope. Uh, a couple of the Kenny lads now and a couple of our lads now matching up. It's, it's, there's some tasty, tasty individual battles up there straight away, so... Can't wait. Listen, Lee, uh, huge congratulations again on the weekend and uh, very best of luck in the, in the, in the, the remainder of the Connacht Championship, however long you go. Thanks, Lee, guys. I appreciate it. Great stuff, as always. Lee Keegan there, Westport star and uh, Mayo star as well.